What's up everyone, John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. iOS 7 just made its debut and we've got a first look for you at the very early beta build of Apple's next generation mobile operating system. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what it's got and what it doesn't have. All right, so a few caveats before we dig into iOS 7. This is the very first beta release, so there are bound to be some bugs and all kinds of weird issues here. It'll be coming sometime in the fall for you to download for your iOS device. I'm showing this one on an AT&T iPhone 5. So let's start with what you see right here. This is the new lock screen. There's all kinds of new things here if I can get it before it fades away. First, the picture in the background, you can see Lucy staring at you. If you move the phone around, it looks like it's kind of almost 3D moving around with you. Uh, it's Interesting effect, not sure if it's gonna kill battery or not, and you're gonna see that same thing actually on the background of the phone. Um, so you can slide to unlock the same way, and you can pull up here now uh, to access the control center. We'll talk much more about that. Um, so we'll slide to unlock, and look at that. Things look crazy different, including new animations. Let me show you that again. Uh, you can also slide to unlock from anywhere now. You don't have to do it right at that little bar on the bottom. So things pop in, so those two icons show up first and then everything else goes after it. And those are new animations for pretty much everything, no matter what you're doing, opening up an application, for example, closing an application. Um, there are all kinds of new animations here. And also new are them icons. A lot has been made about this crazy flat design that Johnny Ive was pushing. Uh, and it's true, it's a flat design. The icons are very different. Uh, I'm not gonna editorialize that much here whether or not I like it or don't like it, because in all honesty, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but they are definitely different. Uh, and everything that was here before looks totally strange now. Uh, the mail icon, Safari's different. Uh, there's a new app for FaceTime, weather stuff is just all kinds of new here, um, which is kind of nice. I get to see something new with iOS settings, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, uh, and photos. Um, so I mentioned the 3D background. As you move the phone around, I know it's going to translate very well on video, but it looks like the picture below the icons is always facing. You can almost see behind the icons. That's what uh, they said on stage. Um, so one of the big things here is Control Center, and there are 10 key new features with the iOS 7 control center is one of them. So to access it, you can swipe up from the bottom. And if you choose, you can access that from the lock screen. And this is sort of quick settings that you jailbreakers have been using for quite a while. Uh, so first thing you notice is the transparency. So it sort of overlays the background there. So it sits on top of it. Access to all kinds of new stuff. Uh, you've got go to airplane mode, turn Wi-Fi on or off, Bluetooth, go into uh, nighttime mode or set the rotation lock. You've got screen brightness to control your music. AirDrop is kind of cool. You can AirDrop things. Um, so like check you can do on OS X, you could do that now with your phone. So that's kind of a cool feature. Uh, AirPlay can access right there. Four quick apps. You can't change what these are, um, but at least you can access them. One of my favorites uh, right there is flashlight. You've got camera calculator. Uh, and some others. So that right there is Control Center. And speaking of centers, let's go into Notification Center. Um, so you've got now a brand new Notification Center. You could see much more. So for calendar, you could see all kinds of events coming up, stocks. You can just see more information there. You can go to today, um, all or missed if you've got any missed messages. So um, it's sort of like widgets, but not quite. But at least you can see more information at a quick glance. So now a Notification Center has much more utility. So I'm actually pretty excited. Uh, about that one. Uh, another new one that I'm sort of excited about too is multitasking. So you access it the same way, you just double click the home button and you get all these icons and you can see um, what is open or what's not open and they are true multitasking now for all apps. To close them, you just swipe it off the screen if I could do it with one hand. There we go. Um, what we still don't have here is a way to close all applications, which I don't understand. But perhaps we'll see that come uh, in subsequent beta builds. But to close it is kind of very satisfying. Um, you can go ahead and swipe that off. I know I've seen that before in an OS to swipe apps to close, but I just can't put my finger on which OS it was. Um, but you can do that. Uh, we also have iTunes Radio. So get your radio on and go ahead and go to your music app. And that's going to look different as well. And you can add a station and you can listen to pretty much ad-free music uh, if you have a iTunes Match account. Um, so that's nice. It's just a radio. Uh, we'll go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, camera here is different as well. So we'll go ahead and go right into camera. I got a fancy new icon for it and a fancy new user interface for it as well. All right, so if you want to go into video, you can go into video and everything else there is the same. Photo, pretty much the same there uh, as well. Uh, square, sort of what you use for Instagram. You got all kinds of Instagram-y uh, type filters with sort of real-time rendering if you want to use those. Pano for taking pictures of panos. 
uh, I guess. Everything here is sort of the same as what it was, except for square um, and the new filters. But it's pretty easy to use, and it works actually very well. And you can sort of swipe through um, if you want to control those. So that is new for the camera. Uh, Safari also got a revamp, didn't just get a new icon. Um, so things are here, new with Safari, as you swipe, the things down below disappear. If you tap, they sort of come back or go to the top of the page. So there's navigation navigation down below. And as I continue to scroll, they disappear. And if you go back up to the top, then they show up again. Uh, tabs are different as well. You can sort of view them um, in a new way. And you can see what bookmarks look like there um, and other fun stuff built into Safari. I'm not going to go into full detail of everything because there's so much to cover. And obviously, there are many more features. But I just want to give you guys an overview here. Uh, keyboard. It's also kind of different. So here was a list of things I had to bring for a recent trip. Say I want to add something. Look at that keyboard. Uh, so depending on what app you're in, it's either going to be a black keyboard or a white keyboard. Functions the same, just looks new. You can also see the new fonts here that uh, they're using as well. Um, they're much thinner fonts and sort of reaction to that has been mixed, but they are definitely new. You can see it uh, on all the text below the icons as well. Let's jump into settings here, and things are all kinds of different. There are all kinds of new settings um, that live here as well. Let's jump into the notification center or control center rather, uh, for example. So access on lock screen on or off. At the top of the page, you'll notice you've got a back, which is fine, you always had a back before, but what if you want to go back without ever tapping that arrow? You can now swipe from the side and go back, which is kind of a neat new feature uh, if you want to um, go through all of your steps that you were, get to the window that you are at. You can sort of swipe back from the bezel um, on out. So that was kind of neat. Um, there are all kinds of other new things here, including mail. There's uh, updates to Siri and now has a male or female voice, though it's not working on my beta, so I can't even demonstrate that for you. But at least I can show you what the interface looks like, at least. So, what's the weather? There. Uh, there's a lot more here, and the more I use it, the more stuff I'm going to learn. So I'm happy to show you what that is. Um, you know, again, all kinds of new stuff here. Calendar. Everything has been totally redone uh, and rethought. So anything in particular you guys want to see me cover in subsequent videos, let me know, and I'll be sure to uh, do that. Mail. I'm not going to show because all my mail is in there. Um, but uh, I'd love to show you what you guys want to see. So what do you guys think of iOS 7? You like it? Do you not like it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you guys in the next video.